The IRS is coming. Despite record revenues for the, for the government, new rules for the upcoming tax season, thanks to President Biden's American Rescue Plan. If you receive more than $600 on PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, you will need to report your earnings. The new rule meant to target individuals running small businesses or have, who have side hustles, but could it have a larger impact? Michael Sullivan is a former IRS agent, and he is with us to break it all down. Welcome back to National Report. Michael, all right, how is this going to work? Because this is new, all right? Um, what does this change mean for folks and, um, and, their online, and their online payments? What qualifies as needing to now be uh, uh, reported? Now, I don't think that people really understand the impact that this is going to have. This is going to be, I think, catastrophic to IRS. Uh, IRS only answers about 11 percent of their calls. So what's going to happen is once uh, you go ahead and get a 1090, uh, 1099K, uh, you're going to have to report that on your return. I want to just tell you how big this is. Venmo has 516 million transactions a day. PayPal has 41 million transactions a day. Cash App users, there's 44 million of those. Anyone making over Six hundred thousand, uh, $600 is going to get a 1099K at the end of the year, and IRS is going to be flooded with work. And IRS will have nothing to do with correcting the problem. You have to go back to the app so they cor correctly report the information to IRS. So also... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, my, Mike, but what about, you know, a lot of people, they send, they send cash to each other for non-business purposes. They send, right. cash, they send cash to each other through individual accounts that may, may be connected to business activity, but the accounts are registered to individuals. How are they going to be able to sort all of this out? I don't think they're going to be able to, to right away. You have to make sure when you're filling out that app, you put for personal and not for business. And this is where the problem is going to come. There's going to be a lot of confusion. People are going to get these 1099K starting next year. They're going to throw them out. They're not going to know what to do with them. And then IRS is going to start the billing process on them. That's exactly the problem, what you mentioned. I mean, you could literally have millions of people who yes. are going to be branded as tax cheats when they yes. just didn't know, I mean, it could be very innocent or they didn't really know what to do. And I think about, you know, what about all the young kids who babysit, right? Yes. Uh, what's going to happen to them? They, a lot of them choose to get paid via these payment apps. I mean, you, a babysitter used to come to the house. You'd, you'd give them 50 bucks in cash or whatever, yeah. and that would be the end of it. Now, yes, is the exactly. IRS going to start coming after those people, too? They make over $600, you bet. But you have to understand, there are billions and billions of these forms going to be sent out. There are that many people who, who use these, these applications. It's staggering, just so you know. And, and that's a great point. You're going to have to let the parents know that the kids may get a 1099K starting next year. You know, it's, we, we have so many conversations these days, Mike, about... Uh, about how we're moving to a cashless society because yes. of all of these apps and everything that you do on this thing. Are, is this going to have the opposite effect? Are we going to see now more people operating in cash because they don't want to have the hassle of having to deal with, uh, you know, deal with all of this and these new IRS rules? Yeah, the government tries to... Uh, I'm so glad you did this piece. The government is trying to uh, uh, dry up cash so everything you do, they can see. When right. you look at what, what, what they're going to find out now, they're going to look at what I'm selling, who I'm selling to, the amounts they are literally now into our financial lives for anyone who goes ahead and has a $600,000 purchase. I mean, $600 purchase. It's unbelievable, is it not? Yeah, it, it is really incredible, and it, it's important for people to realize that, yes, PayPal and Venmo and these things may be yes. convenient, but it also means that the government is going to track your purchases. They're going to track how much money you're spending where. Exactly. I mean, we've never seen this never. level. I don't think we've ever seen this level of sort of privacy invasion or, or monitoring. Michael, what do you think? I, I think you hit it on the head. We've never seen such an intrusion at a, at a, at a meager $600. Isn't it unbelievable? I, when this first came out, I hope IRS somehow modifies that. They're not going to be able to handle 
all the work that's coming in, all the mismatches that happen. So I'm hoping somewhere down the road, they will go ahead and loosen the boundary on this so they can get more of the top, uh, the top notch people, in fact, that that are doing this. Um, right. I don't think they're they're rescuing the yeah. American people from this at all. Yeah, you know, go after the big guys, but leave the, leave the little guys yes, alone. Exactly. Michael Sullivan, I'm going to have to leave it there. I'm sure we're going to be talking about this a lot more. Appreciate you being here, sir. Thank you much. No crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.